Hello, this is John from tcmathacademy.com, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the order of operations. So we have this nice little basic simple problem, and of course, I'm giving you a clue that you're going to have to use this acronym right here, PEMDAS. Hopefully, you've seen this acronym. There's another acronym out there, but most people know this right here. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and just tell you what this stands for. This is parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. And this is how we know how to apply the order of operations. Now, I don't want to really tell you too much more, but I am telling you, obviously, that you're going to need to use PEMDAS. And I'm also going to tell you in advance that half of you are going to get this simple problem wrong. Now, how can that be? Well, I'm going to show you that in just one second. But uh, if you think you can, uh, if you think you can figure this simple little problem out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in a second, and then we're going to really make sure you understand this phrase right here, as this is critical to your success in mathematics. Also, if you need uh, math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, check out my math help program. You can find it at tcmathacademy.com. You'll see that link in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so here comes the answer and some of you may be shocked. So here are probably the two most common responses. So 99% of the answers uh, are going to be either 25 or one. So unfortunately, if you answered one, this is going to be your facial expression. This is a little bit of a sad face, but don't worry about that. After you're gonna be done with this video, your, your uh, <laughs> facial expression will look like this 25. Hey, listen, we gotta have a little fun, right, with math. So, you know, that's, it, every attitude is everything, right? So if you get something wrong, you know, you can just be, you know, in this state of despair and like, oh no, I'm terrible at math. No, you want to learn from it. So anyways, uh, a lot of you are probably saying to yourself, wait a minute, am I right? Uh, maybe I'm right and he's wrong. You know, let's just see the rest of this video and let's go ahead and get into this right now because it's a very, very common misunderstanding when it comes to the order of operations. But again, the answer to this problem is 25. So for those who got that right, uh, now I'm going to go ahead and give you a nice little happy face. But guess what? A lot of you got this problem correct, and you're not even sure why. You know, you know, you you're basically got lucky. Okay. And if you used a calculator, well, that wasn't fair. I should have said do not uh, do not use a calculator to do this problem. But let's go ahead and get into the actual solution right now. Okay. So we have this acronym PEMDAS. Uh, sometimes it's, there's a little mnemonic, which is just a memory aid to remember this. It's called, Please Excuse My Dear Aunt Sally. And it's basically our roadmap um, to do the order of operations. So what are mathematical operations? Well, that's uh, a um, when we're adding numbers, is, that's an operator or mathematical operator. Subtraction, multiplication, division, powers, things like this. These are what we call mathematical operations. So when we have a problem that involves adding, subtracting, multiplication, division, powers, it's all together. Like, you know, what you know, what do we do first? Because the order you do these operations in can totally change the final answer. So we need a checklist. We need to say, do this first, do this second, do this third, et cetera, et cetera. And that's what this little acronym right here stands for. PEMDAS, it's basically the order in the, uh, the way we're going to do these operations right here. But here's the, uh, the deal. A lot of students get this confused. They know this pretty good, but uh, unfortunately not good enough. So let me explain this and then I'll explain this problem here. So P stands for do everything in parentheses or grouping symbols first. Uh, so I don't want to turn this into a full-blown lesson on order of operations. I really kind of keep it to this problem, but that's what uh, P stands for. So if there's any parentheses, we're going to go there. So in this problem, there isn't. Then we're going to be looking for E. That stands for exponents or powers. So if we see anything like this, 2 cubed, which, of course, that's 2 times 2 times 2 or 8, we would do that next. We don't see anything in this problem right here. So this brings us to multiplication and division. Now, many of you out there think uh, the following manner. Basically, you say, oh, we got to do multiplication first, right? So that's, you know, M becomes uh, before D in our PEMDAS. So it's totally logical to say to yourself, oh, we got to do multiplication. We got to do two times five. 
So that would be 10 uh, divided by, because we do this next, it's the M, that's what we have to do before the D. So 2 times 5, that would be 10, and 10 divided by 10 would be 1. That's totally logical. Unfortunately, it is incorrect. So what we need to do is understand how the order of operations works. So uh, you, basically here, the P and the E, okay, you want to do these things right here in the correct order, but these two groups right here, M and D and A and S, is whatever you see first from left to right. Whatever you see first from left to right. So if we see multiplication first from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, then do multiplication. But if we see division and then multiplication, well, this is the order we have to do things in. So this is, you know, oftentimes we don't have an acronym that kind of describes that. So it's easy to confuse. Uh, it's easy to confuse this because the acronym is M before D, but it really means um, if you have D before M, then do it this way as well. So it's whatever you see first from left to right. So going to our problem now, this is going to obviously explain uh, for those of you that got this wrong. You know why uh, you have to do division first. Okay, so 10 divided by 2. Oh, that's division. Uh, so that is becoming uh, is before multiplication. Again, we're looking at this as a group. So 10 divided by 2 is going to be what? Well, 10 divided by 2 is going to be 5. And then, of course, that is the answer, 10 divided by 2. And then we have to finish up by multiplying by 5. So 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, so for those who got this wrong, please do not beat yourself up. This is a very, very common uh, mistake, but here's the deal, okay? Um, you know, uh, if you don't practice these order of operation problems, you're going to continue to make this mistake. Learning math is a skill where you have to actually do the work yourself. If you want to improve in basketball, for example, would you watch TV all day, watch the NBA? Is that going to actually help you get better? No, right? So, you know, watching me do mathematics isn't going to actually help you get better. Now, you're going to learn something, but you have to actually practice this stuff. So what you want to do is learn, you know, learn from me if this is, you know, something that you're working on right now and practice, practice, practice. That's the only way you're going to get better. And the same thing with this basketball analogy, just because you can make one shot, one basket, are you done? Oh, you know, I made one basket. I, I'm therefore I must be able to make every single basket. No, you want to challenge yourself. And the same thing with mathematics, you need to do a wide variety of problems. So anyways, if you need additional help with the order of operations, uh, check out my, like, my uh, pre-algebra course or my math foundations course. Also, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel. But if this particular video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.